at home. All right, well today we're gonna be talking about my senses. Mm -hmm. And that is hearing, smelling, seeing, touching, and tasting. Mm -hmm. So we'll be using all of our senses. So, all right, we've got lots of songs and things mm -hmm. we're gonna do. And I think we're gonna start with our hello song, aren't we? we? Are. All right, you want everybody to stand up? Yep. All right. <laughs> this is our friend, Raffi. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're bananas and you know it, let it ring. If you're bananas and you know it, let it ring. If you're bananas and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're bananas and you know it, let it ring. If you're beautiful and you know it, shout hooray! If you're beautiful and you know it, shout hooray! If you're beautiful and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're beautiful and you know it, shout hooray! If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Yay! All right, put your bottom on the floor and we'll do some more. Um, this is my little furry friend, Bella the Bear. And looky, Bella's wearing her mask too. And Bella is very soft. Since we're talking she is about very soft. our senses. And she has claws that she can feel with too, but she uses her claws to dig under logs for ants sometimes too. And Bella, you sit right here and we're gonna learn some more things. We're gonna do the calendar. And the calendar tells us we're in the month of August. We're in the last week of August. And can y'all say August? August. August. Good job. It is August the 26th and it is a Wednesday. Let's count the days we've had. Ready? One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Can you show the finger clap? Yay! That was a lot of counting, that wasn't was. it? That's a lot of All time. right. I think I'm down to about five more weeks, Miss Angela. Miss Debbie's mm -hmm. going to be retiring, so uh -huh. I will miss my friends. But I will still see all my friends too. But we have Miss Christy coming, and we'll introduce her in a couple of weeks too. All right. And so we said it was Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Now Wednesday is right here in the middle of the week. And when do you start with a W? Miss Debbie? Yes, Miss Angela? I don't think that's the way the sign usually goes. Okay, we'll try this. All right. Is that okay, guys? Right here? No. Okay. How about this way, guys? No. All right. One more try. How about that way? Okay. Thank you, friends. Yeah. There's Wednesday. Can y'all say Wednesday? Wednesday. That is today. And this tells us days of the week. Would you read it with me, please? Days of the week. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Very good, my friend. Oh, now we're going to talk about our senses. Mm -hmm. And we yeah. said, we said um, that we, our five senses, this is what it's called, our five senses. Can y'all read that with me? Our, our five, five senses. senses. And just like we have five fingers, that's how many senses we have. We see with our eyes. We hear with our, what, ears. We touch with our hands and we taste with our what yeah. our mouth and then we smell with our no. no that's right and that's how we find out about things around the world okay yeah. let's see if we were to touch this kitty and pet its fur would it be soft or hard soft, soft. our fingers would tell us that it was soft right all right, if we were to taste this lemon, taste this lemon with our tongue, 
What do you think it would be? Would it be sweet or sour? Sour. 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 Okay, that's right. It would be sour because, all right, let's see. Now, what if we were to taste this cookie? Would it be yucky or good? Good. Our tongue would tell us, and on our tongue are taste buds, and that would tell us what it tastes like. All right. If we used our nose and we smelled this flower, would it smell good or yucky? Good. good, our nose would tell us that it smells very nice. Okay, now if we use our nose and we smelled this animal, this oh, is a skunk. Sick. And if it smelled, it let out its yucky smell, what would it smell? Yeah, good or bad? bad. Yeah, that's that's what a skunk would. It, it would smell, it would smell stinky. What if um, a dog has been outside and has been rolling in the mud and has been outside and it's a hot day and it's all sweaty and it comes in the house. Is it gonna smell good or bad? bad. Yeah, I had a dog that likes to roll in things. And believe you me, it smells bad. All right, so we've talked about what we see, we've talked about what we feel, we've talked about what we smell. Now let's talk about what we touch. This is a piece of sandpaper. And I'm gonna give each one of you a piece of sandpaper. And I want you to think about your own testament over there. And y'all keep these pieces, okay? All right, these will be for us to touch with our fingers, okay? And you touch both sides. And I want you to think, oh, excuse me, sugar. I want you to think about, there we go, my little friend. There we go. All right, everybody got one? Okay, everybody got one? And I want you to touch both sides with your fingers, okay? Okay, there's a side that doesn't have letters on it. Is it rough or is it smooth? It's rough with the piece that has no letters and things on it. Now, if you flip it over and it's got some letters or numbers on the back, is that smooth or is that rough? That is smooth. That's right. And our fingertips tell us this side is smooth and this side's a little bit rougher. That's what sandpaper is for, is to make things smoother. And actually, mine is a little deeper of a color, and it's a little bit rougher, a little bit more coarse, as they say. And so our fingers tell us things about the world, too. Let's see. All right, do I have, oh, I do have another one. What if we were to touch something that birds have? Oh. What do you think? If birds had these on their bodies, do you think it would be rough? Are smooth. That would be smooth. Would it be soft, do you think? Uh -huh. Yes, your fingers tell us that, that feathers are soft. We may not can catch a bird and touch them, uh -huh. but we do sometimes see feathers that are on the ground. And if we touch them, they are smooth, aren't they? And they would. Did you find a feather one time? Awesome, awesome. All right, now. Did you? I like feathers. All right, so I want you to close your eyes, and this time. I want you to use your ears. Close your eyes, and I'm going to make a noise, and I want you to tell me what the noise is just with your ears. Open your eyes. What was that noise? Bells. 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 That was bells. We didn't look at it, but we heard it with our ears. And so lots of times we can tell what things are because we're using several of our senses. We might use our ears. And our eyes, because we see the bells at the same time that we hear the bells. And so we're using both of our senses. Okay, what if we all clap our hands together? So we know what that noise is because we see it as well as we hear it, don't we? So we know what that noise is. That what? Do what? You feel it. When you, when you oh, you're right. We can feel it. We can, and we can also, like, we can clap on our, on our legs. And we feel that on your too. You can you can go softly. You know what that sounds like? That sounds like rain. If you just do real gentle on your legs like that. So if we had our eyes closed, we might think that it was raining. Now, I live in a house with a metal roof, and when it is raining, I don't see the rain up this way, but I can hear it with my ears. And if I look out the window and the windows are wet, then my eyes tell me that it's raining. And if I go out in the rain, I feel the rain on my hands and on my face, and I will know it's raining that way too. So there's a lot of different ways 
that we can have our senses. Okay, let's see. What if we were to eat um What if we were to eat chocolate pie? Would that be yucky or would that be good? Good. Yes, it would. Okay, what if we were to eat pizza? Yucky or good? Good. Good. Okay, so our tongue has taste. Um, helps us to determine things too about about our world. Now, what if we go outside in the Texas summer and we wear a big old coat? Would we be hot or cold? Hot, because we don't wear a coat in Texas in the winter. In the excuse me, the summer. What if we put our coat on in the winter and we go outside? And the coat would keep us warm because the air outside in the winter is cold. Whoa. That's right. So Whoa. that helps us. And our nose, because our nose usually isn't covered, except maybe this winter it might be, because we might have our mask on. But usually our nose will be cold in the winter too, won't it? So we learn lots of things about our world around us with, through our senses. If you're ready for a story, count to three. One, two, three. If you're ready for a story, count to three. One, two, three. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, count to three. One, two, three. All right, in the front of my book is a special page. Do you guys know what that page is called? What? That's the title page. So the title of my book is Sniff, Sniff by Ryan Sidus. Here we go, let's see. Sniff. Sniff. Oh, look. He smells bacon and pancakes Ooh. and oranges. Oh, mm. that smells good. Breakfast. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Oh, no. The dog jumped on the table. He oh. got the breakfast, Miss Debbie. Yikes. Sniff. Sniff. Oh, the dog smells something else. Mm. Oh, flowers and dirt and tomatoes. Mm. Mm. I wonder what he's smelling. It's the garden. Oh, boy. Dig, dig. He's having fun. Mm. Sniff, sniff. Oh, there's squirrel and a tree and a pond. Hmm. Mm. <gasps> the park. Oh boy. Lots of fun for this dog today. There's squirrel. There's squirrel. <gasps> sniff, sniff. He smells something else. Oh, there's a tennis ball and a dog and a bone. <gasps> it's friends. Oh boy, he found lots of other dogs to play with. Mm. Sniff, sniff. Hmm, there's an apple core and a fish bones and a milk carton. Garbage. Oh. Look, he's rolling yeah, in it, yeah, sometimes dogs like to roll in the garbage. And is he going to smell good after that? I don't think so. I don't think so. Sniff, sniff. Oh, what does he smell now? Soap and a towel and a rubber ducky. Hmm. Hmm. Bath time. Scrub, scrub, scrub. That poor dog. He's so sad. Why sniff, is, sniff. Why oh, is he smells the so toy. Oh, boy. So sad. Love. Oh, the dog, the boy, and the dog love each other, and that's He's the happy. end. Oh, now let's see. I see this big part of his body. What is that part of his body? His nose. His nose. His nose. And what did he do with his nose? Sniff. Yeah. Sniff or smell? Because yeah. dogs like to smell everything, don't they? Mm -hmm. They do. I think we need to stand up. Do we have okay. a, a game that we're going to play? We do. What are we going to play? We have a stretch? The, we have the moving game. Oh, the moving game. Okay, so we're going to move every day on our... On our Today's the okay. day. It's today. A special day. A special day, Miss Angela. Every day is a moving day. All right, what are we going to do first? Monday is my marching day. I'm marching, marching, march all day. Monday is a special day. I'm marching, march all day. Wednesday is my skating day. 
what did their mama, their mama do? What sound did she make? And when she snores, what is she doing? Sleeping, isn't she? Can you snore one big time like a dinosaur? That's right. Can we clap our dinosaur one more time? Yay! Awesome, awesome. Okay, so we used our senses today. We used our ears and eyes and nose and our touch. And I want to play a game with this book, okay? I want our group to tell me what black and white animal has these ears. Who has these ears? Oh, zebra. Let's see. My friends are right. Okay, let's do another one. Oh, who has these furry ears? I don't know. Who has furry ears? What is that animal? A koala. You think so? You're right. It is a koala. Okay, let's try again. Um, who has hidden ears like this one? Oh, a tiger. Okay, let's try again. It's a lion, which is like a, it's like a tiger. It's a cat with the top of the head. Okay, let's try one more. Who do you think has these kind of pointy ears in the animal world? Cat. Oh, you think it's a fox? Okay, my friends over here. Let's see. It is. It's a fox, Miss Angela. Okay, I have another one. This one is noses, okay? Who has a nose like this? A pig. A pig, that's right. Who has a nose like this one? An elephant, that's right. So, all right, there's an elephant. Let's see if there's another one. Okay, who has a pink nose like that? A pig. A pig, that's right. That's what you tell me, okay? The pig, there's a pig. My friends were right. All right, let's see. Who has a nose like this one? A horse. A lamb. A lamb. A horse? That's what different friends are saying? It's a horse. Look at there. All right, let's see if I got one more. Who has a wet nose like this one? A dog. Oh, my friends think that's a dog. Let's see. It is. It is a dog. It is a wet nose and probably with the, attached to a slobbery mouth. All right. I think we're ready for a good job. Right, song. Good we're ready, ready? And then we have stickers and we have crafts for everybody. Everybody stand up. All right. We're going to our Texas goodbye song. We might clap our hands and stomp our foot. Let's see. Stomp your feet. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends.